black box testing strategy black box testing strategy is basically divided into two categories testing method where user is required and testing method where user is not required testing methods where user is not required are functional testing in this type of testing the software is tested for the functional requirement the tests are written in order to check if the application behaves as expected stress testing the application is tested against heavy load such as complex numerical values large number of inputs large number of queries etc which check for the stress load the application can withstand load testing the application is tested against heavy loads or inputs such as testing of websites in order to find out at what point the website application fails or at what point it performance degrades ad hoc testing this type of testing is done without any formal test plan or test case creation ad hoc testing helps in deciding the scope and duration of the various other testing and it also helps testers in learning the application prior starting with any other testing explanatory testing This testing is similar to the ad hoc testing and is done in order to learn explore the application. Usability testing. This testing is also called as testing for user friendliness. This testing is done if user interface of the application stands an important consideration and needs to be specific for specific type of user. Smoke testing. This type of testing is also called sanity testing and is done in order to check if the application is ready for further major testing and is working properly without failing up to least expected level. Recovery testing. Recovery testing is basically done in order to check how fast and better the application can recover against any type of crash or hardware failure etc. This type or extent of recovery is specific in the requirement specification volume testing volume testing is done against the efficiency of the application huge amount of data is processed through the application which is being tested in order to check the extreme limitations of the system testing where user plays a role user is required user acceptance testing in this type of testing the software is handed over to the user in order to find out if the software meets the user expectations and works as it is expected to alpha testing in this type of testing the users are invited at the development center where they use the application and the developers note every particular input or action carried out by the user any type of abnormal behavior of the system is noted and rectified by the developer beta testing in this type of testing the software is distributed as a beta version to the users and users test the application at their sites as the users explore the software in case if any exception defects occur that is reported to the developers